This week on the show, we're featuring Paradox. Who be in zoocide under the microscope cam? Shampoo on, why do I buy that? No, it's supposed to be... It's supposed to be, uh... Body wash. Body wash on, why do I buy that? Ten new jokes. And... Now with 25% more guffaw. A man has been playing piano in public to attract women. People are calling him a piano player. Let's start the show. Why was that a rough start? Usually I got it all typed out right there. I got such a list of reminders. Not quite sure what's going on. Anyway, we got ourselves a piece of paradox. Some hair. Need a haircut. I like this piece. It's got a big old splay thingy going on in the middle of it, but that's all right. I like it. Change the card. The appropriate card. There we go. Yeah, it's got the big old thing in there. That's fine because it's right in the middle and it's like it's below the surface. So it's not like a crack on the surface. Colette S. says, Howdy, Jim and Joke Lovers. Bird heart, sparkle heart, bird. And the bird is eating a salad. Jim Master Jones in the house. How's it going, Austin? Good to see you. Been a while. Always a pleasure to have you in the house. Enter house joke. Yeah, house joke. Okay. What? Christina and Son Ghost Squad made it. Hello, sweetie. It just got out of work and I'm waiting for my Uber. Uber, Uber. Uber ride. I don't know. I like your messy hair. Thank you. I appreciate that. That makes me feel a little better about not getting a haircut because I'm probably not going to get a haircut this week. I need to. I should. I want to. But it's probably going to be next week. But you know what I do got this week? A gemstone. Paradox gemstone. I can't even really see it. Let me take it out of the package. There we go. That gives you an idea of about how big it is. It's good size. Maybe we should weigh it. And not drop it. Okay, so that's the size of it, front side, and then that's the, that's what it is, sideways side. So any guesses on how heavy this thing is? How many carats? How many carat seeds is it equivalent to? Any guesses? Any guesses at all? Looks like it's measuring 0.9. Oh, one. Got an even one gram, which means when we take one gram and divide it by 0.2 grams, which is 0.2 is grams is one carat seed. So one divided by 0.2 equals five. It's a five carat gem, just barely. Just barely fully. A five carat gem. I like Peridot. It's a hard stone, but it's not too hard. It usually shapes up pretty nice. A lot of people tend to like Peridot. I like the more apple green Peridot. 
personally. I think it's nice. Hello, Austin. How are you? Says Christina. Hello, Colette. Says Christina. Just got back from New York. Good to watch you cut some greens. Gems. Some gems. Ah, back from New York. What'd you do in New York, Austin? Uh, did you make it to any comedy shows? I've been actually thinking about going out to New York to do some comedy. I'm also thinking about going out to L.A. to do some comedy. Can't decide on which one I should go to. Hi, Christina, says Colette S. That's funny, Austin. I'm in New York, not the city right now. I'm in Long Island. Long Island. Christina is currently in an iced tea drink. Two and a half grams. Ooh. Close, but not close. I wasn't that far from Jamestown. Is Jamestown on a Long Island? Is, it, is Jamestown a type of drink? Hey, Gary Green. Hot says, hi, Jacob and everyone. If you come to New York, you better come visit me. Absolutely, Christina. I'll, you know what, instead of shipping your chocolate opal, I'll just bring it right on out. Which, actually, I have that here in one of my little boxy thingers. And I'll start up the microscope portion of the program. And we can take a look at it. Because I think I'm actually going to put it on a dock. I had a thing come off of it. And I was like, you know what? Since we only got the two pieces of this chocolate opal. And this is probably the best one we have. We're going to make sure we shape it properly. And it's going to turn into like a little triangle piece. Let's see. Where's the microscopes? Scene. Okay, we'll move this down and over a little. Maybe that's too far. Baby, that's too far. Yeah. A little bit of song. A little bit of dance. A little bit of love. Let's make some romance. Where's it at? On the desktop? There it is. Joke intro camera. Got it. Got him. EBS camera. Gonna focus. There we go. Alright. So anyways this piece of opal had this little chip on it and the chip came off and so now we have two pieces but it's got the little blue flickers in there hopefully I don't grind those out when I shape it because it's got this like wedgy shape over by my thumbnail and so we're going to kind of go with a triangle shape for it. That's what we're going to do. We're going to put it on the top and triangulate it up. Okay, where is the next part? Here's video number two. Nope. That's not video number two. That's not video number two. That's a different piece. Here's video number two. What is that? 64, 9, 7, 3, 8. All right, yep. That's what we had to work with. It's a little bl blarg, big, odd. Not sure where we're going with it. 
See, that's what we do is basically two stages. The first stage is um, grinding all the rough edges down and looking at it. And the second stage is deciding where we're going to get rid of the bulk of it. And then the third stage is to try and even it out. And then the fourth stage is to polish it up so it's you know nice and shiny. You can see down into it. But anyway, this is what we're doing with the chocolate opal. We're going to dop it. And then we're going to shape it into like a triangle thingy. And hopefully we can get it to show this red that comes through right on the edge that kind of looks like my finger reflection we're gonna go for that 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 color there that's what we're going for in the bulk of it we'll see when we actually get to shape it up let me ship shape oh drop the chip chip shape ship ship chip shape what am I doing wanted to show this chip because the, sh the chip actually shows the color of the red that I'm going for in the chocolate opal. So that's what I'm trying to do with this darker piece. And uh, since I only got one piece of it, that's why it's taking so long. That plus I wanted to use the faceter, which I had to get the dots ordered and I finally got them. That's got a fingerprint on it. Okay, so this is the Peridot. It's got the little flaws in it. That's all right. They're kind of neat. You can study them a little bit. Doesn't have any real gnarly inclusions in it, like, you know, like big chunks of rust or anything. I had to run on oiler and fittings to the boring rig that's cutting holes for the windmills. Oh, that sounds cool. I, I was actually thinking about making a video game about drilling. But I think it's going to be a boring game. So maybe not. Ziggy, good Sunday everyone. Welcome to the program. If you have any questions about Peridot, let us know. This is basically what I got for the microscope portion. I'm going to show you some ruby and zoocyte, which we looked at yesterday on, on the unboxing that you made it to, Ziggy. Gary, hello. Ziggy, says Christina and Sungo Squad. Here Jacob goes teasing me again. No, I'm not teasing you. It's, it's actually, it's happening. It just takes me a couple of years to get through so many of these little projects. I got so much stuff to do and so little time to do it in. I need to focus on stuff, but then other stuff goes by the wayside. Okay, so this is the piece of ruby and zoocyte. We'll rub a little bit of water on it. That way it shows the, the ruby a little better. And yeah, we are really close to this thing. I need to polish it. That's what I need to do. So that way we can really see the difference. I wonder if I pull this baby loose and, and lift it away, maybe we can get a different view. Ooh, we're actually out at the end of the microscope portion of its, its ability to focus. Like that's it for focusing. That's it for cord, too. I'm, like, yanking on it. Anyway, that's the ruby. That's the unpolished ruby. This this has water on it. This doesn't. So that's also ruby, and it's the same color. And then this is the crusty stuff on the edge. Let's put, let's put the microscope back. Focus in a little bit on the, the crusty stuff. So that's one of the things that I thought, I always think that's kind of cool when you get a little bit of the matrix with it. Helps you identify it as real, you know? That's cool. We got some of the actual chalcedony from the edge. And then there's the ruby. 
inside the zoocyte. Had to get a piece of this for uh, Colette because she is queen of the rubies. So we got some ruby in zoocyte because she got she has rubies now, but we had to get her some ruby in zoocyte because she didn't have any. And so that's what we were doing. Vivian Sanchez, hi, Jacob Hart, hi, everyone, Rose, Laffy Faces, Rolly Faces, Vivian, hello, Elon has a boring company, ah, that's funny, Roxy Rance made it, Ziggy's got a thumbs up and a wave with a hand, hand up, shaky, 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 this was the longest wait for Uber ever. Well, I'm glad I could make it even longer. <laughs> Speaking of making it longer, what do I have for the why did I buy that portion of the show? Because uh, I think I'm going to polish this up and then we'll look at it a little more next week. Along with the opal that I've been trying to work on for Colette. Because we're trying to work on this little piece of opal, this white opal, to put in her ring. Ooh, is that that video? We're running out of video, too. We need to hurry up. Always in a rush. Gotta get the show done. Making it happen. Yeah. So we're going to grind a little bit on that opal a little bit later, too. And hopefully this chunk of sunstone. I'm excited about this sunstone. Notice how you can see through it? Yeah. Blink, 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 blink. Like the orange light district. Dick strict. Okay, then there's this piece of blue chalcedony I was talking about. This piece of blue quartz. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this one because I actually got to touch it a little bit today with the grinder. And it's still pretty cloudy. I think it's about as cloudy as a piece of clean rose quartz. Even the cleaner rose quartz still has some cloud in it. That's all right. It's still going to be a nice piece of blue. Let's see if I can stick it next to something that gives it some reference, color reference. Yeah. Because, like, the background is white, and then this thing is blue. And that sparkly orange sunstone has sparkles in it. I'm excited about that. Notice how you can kind of see the grid lines under the sunstone? It, it needs a polish. It doesn't have any polish on it. It's all just like 240 grit grinding. But anyways, heart shape for Austin, heart shape for Roxy. Roski. Is it Roski? No, Roxy. One of them. And heart shape peace sign for Ziggy. Gotta have that peace sign. Put it in there. Hold it. Hello. Smiles with upward eyes. LOL, well, normally I like long, but my pizza is getting cold. Oh, yeah, you, you want to get her done, get in, get out, get done, get that pizza home so you can enjoy it while it's hot. Gotta like it like it's hot. Okay, where is number three? This one. Okay, this is the last bit. This is where I even it out. See how the top has that little, little ledge there? And then we got this little piece of like stuff that makes it look like there's a crack there. I got to eat it down far enough to get rid of that and then even out the top edge there and kind of even out the bottom side a little. And then there's a bow on this side I got to even out. Roxy, hello, says Christina and Sungo Squad. Okay, so that does it for the microscope portion of the program. Do you have any questions? Let me know. Stick them there in the chat. I got a question, personally. Why did I buy that? I bought some body wash. But which one did I buy? There's a lot to choose from. I go there and I get decision fatigue. I wonder, which one am I going to get? Maybe I shouldn't get any of them. But I'm running out. And, you know, I like the body wash so that I can get clean. Actually, I... I can't use shaving cream. It dries out my skin. So I use body wash to shave with. Been doing that since I was 18. So, 
I had to get some more. I usually like to go with something different than what I had the last time. And so, to kind of back it up, I was using the Old Spice Apple. I don't know what it is. It's like Fuji Apple or something. It, you know, it's got a fancy name. Something you got to say with your hand. And then after that, I was using Suave. Up at the top, in the middle-ish, they got the blue bottles. The dark blue, the Suave. I was using some kind of a Suave shampoo, and I'm about out of that. So I was like, well, I don't really want to go with Old Spice again right off. Maybe we'll do that again. Because I do like Old Spice gives you a bigger bottle. There's more when you buy it. So less packaging per product. I will say that. The Suave, they're really trying to juice me for dollars. There's not a lot in there. But it was, it was a nice product. Mostly, I'm like, I think I'm like other guys. I go and I smell and I smell one that I like and then I stick with that. And I think a little bit of it's primal. It's like, that smells like other man. Grr. Not going to buy that. And then I'm like, that smells like me. I'm going to buy that. I want to smell that way too. Maybe the ladies will love it. Yeah, got to pick out a smell that the ladies will love. That'll just make them, you know, jump on me. Mm -hmm. Going for that one. So I, I went and I picked the non-Old Spice, non-Suave bottles, and I smelled them. And, um, let's see, which one did I buy? I don't even remember which one I bought. I think I bought an Axe this time. I did, yeah. Because I was like, okay, what's the one that's down on the bottom that is not in the picture? Shame on me for not snapping a big enough picture. Is it because I'm not showing it? Nope, that's the end of the picture. Oh, it's uh, Irish Spring. They make a body wash. I always think of the bar. Actually, what I always think of when it comes to Irish Spring is the commercial where the guy's got the bar and he takes out his knife and he cuts off a chunk and he's like... Because, you know, smelling the bar of soap isn't good enough. You gotta you gotta get your knife out, cut on that bar. <laughs> okay, I'll buy it. Don't stick me. But then I was like, well, you know, Irish Spring, maybe I could go with something like that. But then I smelled all these axes and they had they had a lot of them that I didn't really like, but there was one of them that I did kind of like. It it was more of a tropical scent. Because they, they have different scents, like they got the muskier scent, and the one that smells like a locker room, and they got the one that smells like a uh, like a head shop, and then they got the ones that kind of smell like outdoors. It, you know, it's like, I get the same scent smelling this as I do when I look at a picture of a, a white sandy beach. So I was like, all right. I've spent enough time looking at this. I gotta get back to doing other things. And I picked that one off the shelf and I, I, I went home with it. I did not get the giant one with a pump, which is a better deal. But at the same time, like I say, I like to change up every once in a while. So that's why I'm going for the more of the portable grab one and go bottle. And uh, that's what I'm kind of sticking with. That's that's what I bought. And that's why I, why did I buy that. Do you ever buy body wash? And which one did you buy? Why did you buy that? Let's see. Oh, I missed a lot of great, great chats. Oh, it came out beautiful. Hi, says Roxy Rance. Oh, it came out beautiful. It is it a ledge or a nub? Nubbins. Gibbons. Isn't that what it is? Gibbons and nubbins? I don't remember. It's been too long since I played some cribbage. I gotta go over to Austin's and play a little bit of cribbage. He'll get skunked. Five and one. Um, five and one. There is five and one, isn't there? A type of soap called five and one? There's probably gems that are five and one too. I am way behind. Use conditioner for shaving. It will change your life. I was wondering about conditioner. Conditioner. I should try conditioner for shaving. Because I do use conditioner on my hair occasionally. It's been a little while. But uh, I used it like when I use the Garnier Fructis. 
I, I used to use the combination and then I started going with the one and then the other and I like that that was actually because it really smooths it out I don't like Axe products why don't you like Axe products too perfumey maybe it, it reminds me of the uh, the spray you know you remember the Axe body spray you go around and across that's you know I don't know it's just totally an advertisement they were really really selling it there are we done almost not quite we're going back from the sharp thousand grit lap to the dull thousand grit lap because I had cut the back sides to even them but it cuts it so quick I can't I just I'm touching it the the dull one I can put it on there and roll it and actually kind of smooth them over pretty good so that's why I'm changing out and I dropped it on the floor too so I'm gonna pick it up and that's the thing is that I dropped those steel lap wheels and they don't bend it's kind of nice they don't they don't get crooked yep going to the old dull one still a thousand grit same grit just a different different dullness like instead of being a bunch of points it's a bunch of rounded over nodules dove dove body wash I could go with dove doves are very ladylike they're soft and maybe the ladies love them but I haven't gone there yet I think you know what call it I think I'll go with dove next time big old nose yeah it reminds me of the Afrin commercial where the guy squeezes the thing I've tried Afrin before man that stuff is fire it gets addictive though it's too easy you know there was soap at Walmart that was supposed to smell like cedar and it was awful yeah that's the thing about cedar cedar smells kinda nice at first but it's like it, it's really potent so I think you know one whiff once in a while is good for cedar you'd think they would have made one that smelled like money by now I know and good money not that stuff that has you know a weird funk to it cuz I don't know sometimes cash money doesn't smell the same as like you know gold money or, or fresh money fresh money actually kinda smells good Ooh, axe. I am an axe guy. I guess now. For now, you know. There. There. It was soap at Walmart that was supposed to smell like cedar. There. Missed. Missed where there goes. Where's there? There. Is there there or there? Who wants cedar soap? Exactly. I mean, I can see, you know, like if, if you're trying to wash your cedar maybe you want clean cedar so that might have something to do with it it's supposed to be manly oh, okay cedar cedar supposed to maybe it's for you know maybe it's uh for washing your uh, golf balls X body spray has like literal animal pheromones yeah I wondered about that too what exactly are they mixing in there into these uh, lye products lye and oils Anything to thin the other oils, and then you can rinse it with water. Allegedly, right? We need to actually, Vivian. I was thinking about that too. As I'm as I'm picking out the stuff, I'm like, you know what? I should do is actually read the Wikipedia on this kind of stuff. So when I hop up on one of your panels, we should dig into that. That sounds like a lot of fun. We could have a lot of fun, to, you know, just getting to the bottom of it all. Oh, there we are. That's the gem. We got to round out the show and tell some jokes. Good seeing you. Golf cart is calling my name. Hit me up sometime. All right, we're going to go uh, do some uh, cribbage. We'll play some cribbage. I like Caress Sugar Scrub. Sugar Scrub. That just sounds delicious, Vivian. I mean, Sugar Scrub, it sounds ideal. I, 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 I got nothing against Sugar Scrub. It sounds, you know, like a sweet way to make it happen. Yeah, they have Dove. It smells like baby powder, so anyone could use it. Well, you know, you want to baby yourself. Take care, Austin, says Christina and Sun Go Squad. You guys are all awesome. Let's read some jokes, and then you can get on your way. I'll stop keeping you captive. What do we got for the jokes? Okay, this week, I think I got about ten jokes-ish. I Oh, I wrote some news-based jokes. I'm excited about that so I got a little bit I got some actual real headlines for you and uh, that that got me really excited so I want to do some more of that next week but this week what do we got 
Last weekend, I got so trashed, I woke up in a landfill. Yeah. Um, let's see. If I get booked and someone throws a book at me, does that mean I'm double booked? Oh, I tried some Mario's Pizza. And if you put mushrooms on a Mario's Pizza, does that make it a Super Mario's Pizza? I know if I put mushrooms on a Mario's Pizza, it makes me grow bigger. Let's see. Okay. News. The news jokes. I have an aunt who works for the news. We call her Auntie Information. Uh, which brings me to the joke news. Candy Maker Ferrero is planning on expanding in central Illinois, which means there's about to be an expansion in central Illinois. Wall Street slips into a bear market, which means stocks are doing so bad they've actually started selling bears at the market. There was a giant snapper caught in Texas that could break the world record. Which goes to show even the fish stories are bigger in Texas. Uh, let's see. There's a truck strike in South Korea that's starting to affect chip manufacturers. Who are not only having trouble shipping chips. They're having trouble finding truckers desperate enough to buy them out of their vending machine. Yep. Okay, we're getting close to being done. Um... I got one more news one, but I think it's my best one, so I'm going to save it to the end. Let's see. Oh, I got an idea for a podcast. We're going to make a parody podcast called, yep, called, oh, I messed it up. We're going to make a parody podcast called, yeah, yep, mm-hmm, where people come on and they say something, and then we're like, yeah, yep, mm-hmm. It's going to, it's going to, I'm making it into a skit. Hopefully I can have one of my upcoming guests, uh, join me and actually participate in this thing. It's going to be awesome. Let's see. The church said to give alms. So I put a bunch of electrical resistors in the donation basket because the resistors are rated in ohms or, or ohms. It's, that's, a, that's probably the worst joke I got. Okay. Um, a man has been playing piano in public to, to attract women. People are calling him a piano player. All right, this is the last one, and I got two different versions of it. And I, I, I like them both. I, I can't decide. So I'm going to probably give you the better one first. Let's see. Arby's is offering a 50% discount on two of its popular sandwiches. Now they just need two popular sandwiches. And Arby's is offering a 50% discount on two of its popular sandwiches both of which are the roast beef. What is it, the roast beef and the roast beef? Yeah, I should have delivered it that way. I think Tom Kelly was right. He, he actually gave me a tip on that one. I think he's right about that. Yeah, Arby's is offering a 50% discount on two of its popular sandwiches. What is it, the roast beef and the roast beef? Makes too much sense. Which is the same, I have to say, for... The joke portion of the program. All right, before I let you go, I got a couple of things I got to do. Gary had a question about a black and white speckled stone, and it turns out there is actually a stone. It's kind of like um, it's kind of like a form of chalcedony, kind kind of like the ruby and zoocyte. It's called Dalmatian stone. So either you were talking about moonstone. Powellite or possibly Dalmatian stone. I couldn't find a lot of information about Dalmatian stone, but I did want to bring that one up, so I wrote a note. Uh, let's see, I'm going to record my best jokes in chunks and then upload that as a joke special and call it Happy Jokes for Smart People. What do you think? I think that'll be a good good title for it. I'm going to do, I've actually got works um, put to, I've been putting together a 24 hour live stream. So I'm going to have one of those going on. And I won't be here for all 24 hours, but the chatbot will be. 
which I did not actually, man, I hate this chatbot. It doesn't actually connect until after I get going. And I like having the chatbot connected because you actually, you earn points when I get the chatbot going. So remind me to get the chatbot going. I got to set a note for that. Let's see, we're going to actually do that right now. So that way when I read the thing, I'll, I'll have the note to do the chatbot. Okay, then... Oh yeah, I was gonna say I missed. Uh, this is pretty. This is pretty dumb, but it's kind of a joke. I missed doing the show a couple of weeks. Usually, when it's time to do the show, I'm pretty happy. But instead, I was actually sneezy, which made me grumpy. I had to see the doc. He gave me a prescription that made me sleepy and dopey, and I was walking around bashing into things. Very bashful. Yeah, I need a way to round that out. But I did get all seven dwarf names in there. Okay, and uh, I didn't see the doctor, but um, yeah, actually I was pretty grumpy. And so I didn't do the show. But I did do the show this week. The other thing I wanted to do before we go is beef and cheddars. Oh, I love those. Vivian knows where it's at. Um, let's see. You guys are fantastic. Um, thank you for the compliments on the joke portion. Going to do a two-hour with some meditation music. I don't think I could do 24 hours. Yeah, I won't be here for all 24, but I'm going to make it happen. Ron Weasley made it. He made it happen. He came by and, and said hello and, and activated the chatbot. I need to do another chatbot stream where I get you all your chatbotliness. But before I go, I got one other thing that I wanted to do. And that was mention someone that I met at the uh, the Jukebox Comedy Club. His name's Zach Schneider. He's a fellow comedian. And if you want to see some comedy and see some or listen to some music that he plays, uh, you can check out his channel. I told him I'd give him a shout out. So uh, there is Zach Schneider's channel. He's at 72 scribes. We can give him a boost. He's a nice guy. I was talking to him and uh, I like to give shout outs and stuff. Like last week I dropped uh, Lou Palomino's channel. And um, he actually has a lot of great tips and stuff. He was talking about tools, uh, which tools to buy. Not tools that are trying to do a joke portion of the program. Um, wait, did I just call myself a tool? I should because I'm great at fixing things. But I'm not letting myself be used. Actually, I probably am. Hi there, YouTube. <laughs> okay. All right. I think we're pretty much done with that. Um, I am so glad you all could make it to the show this week. We're going to try and feature this champagne quartz that I've been holding up next week. I wanted to do a green stone. we got a green stone featured. It's been a while since I've done some Peridot. And if I don't feature this in the middle of the week, which I probably won't, it's going to be a busy week. But I will try to do the 24-hour stream. And then next Sunday, we'll either be featuring this guy or this guy, this piece of blue appetite. Yeah. So those are the stones that are coming up. We also got a piece of rhodolite and some topaz. And uh, that means I got four of them in the hole. So we got shows coming up. We got awesome people that come by. You are all so fantastic. Have a great week. Make it a great week because you're awesome like that.